Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at a truck mod. This one's from Boost Auto Parts. And it can do one of two things. It can either do the high beam spotlight mod or it can do the cargo and drive mod. Depending on how you wire this up to whichever BCM you wire it up to. There's the part number, made in the USA. And what we're gonna do today is the top one. We're going to do the high beam spotlight mod. To give you an idea what that is, if your truck comes with mirror spotlights like this one does, when you go to turn on your high beams, these lights will come on as well. I've done a similar mod already. You can check out my link below. It'll give you the link to my channel. But I've set it up with a, another Boost Auto Parts mod to turn on the fog lights here while the brights are on. So this will be the second light mod we do on this truck. Inside your package, you're going to find your wiring harness here with a couple different leads on there. Four suitcase connectors and a couple of zip ties. Basically, how this is going to work is you have to get under your dash here, and hopefully, I can get the camera on it. And you're going to have to locate your BCMs or body control modules. And they're tucked away up under here. There's a few different colors. There they are. And you can see I have that other Boost Auto Parts mod on here already. And we have to disconnect a few of these and wire this new harness in. And basically what that's gonna do is that's just gonna trick these BCMs are behaving a little bit differently than what they're originally designed to do. It won't hurt anything, but uh, it'll give the desired effect. To get started, you're going to need to pull the brown and the gray out of the BCM here. Should look like that. There's a little tab right here, and I've got these started already, but. Just hit that little tab and gently pull these out. Should look like that. We're going to start to work with the brown connector. And again, don't mind this other boost tap that sign that I talked about a moment ago. And we're going to start with these suitcase connectors. And they're just what you see there. And you basically just clamp them onto the line there. Uh, sometimes they're called suitcase, sometimes they're called T-taps. But what you need to find is pin 18 and pin 3 on this brown connector. Looks like I've got pin 3 right there. In my case, that's a red and uh, green wire. Uh, but go off position because your wires may be different on your particular vehicle. And hopefully my hands aren't in the way of the camera here. But we're just going to put that connector on there. And secure it. It should click. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up. There we go. Should look just like that. And then we do the same thing with pin 18. In this case looks like it's a brown with a little bit of purple in it. And now you're done with the T-taps on the brown one. Do 
the exact same process on this gray one, except that you want pins 5 and 17. In my case, they both happen to be blue. But again, look at pin position, not color, because your colors may be different. But it should look like that. Now we're going to start working with the wire harness itself. We put in four T-taps. You got four connectors. We're going to start with the easy ones, which will be these two white ones that are here. And the two white ones go to the gray connector and to the blue wires, at least blue wires in my case, on my gray connector. It doesn't matter which one goes to which. It could go this way or it could go that way. But two white wires go to the gray connector. And it's just going to snap into place just like that. There's one. And there's two. And they should have a definite seat to them to make sure that they're in all the way. And that should look like that. The brown connector is the exact same thing, except here, the wire color does matter. So this black wire has to go into pin 18, and the red wire needs to go into pin 3. There we go, and it should look like that. Now it's just a matter of putting these back where you found them. Make sure you hear them click. And then you can clean this up however it seems fit. You can tuck it back there. You can use the provided zip ties, whatever that is for you. Quick little test. Truck's on. Headlights are on. Brights are on. Go around to the side here. Spotlights are on. Brights are on, and even my fog lights are on as part of the previous mod I put on. If I go to turn these off, they're off as expected.